So, so you lead me to the next question for the panel. You know, when we talk about disruption, it's a big hype word, it's a buzzword, and, it's, and everybody wants to be a part of it, but not everyone has the talent and ability to do that. I don't mean people, I mean companies and organizations. So when you think about this, what are the biggest challenges? What is going to be the biggest hurdle that whether you're a startup or Amazon or any, what are the things that concern you the most about failure with disruption? You know, um, President Trump said something really smart when he was trying to innovate healthcare as soon as he took office. Very shortly after he said, healthcare is really hard to change. It's complicated. <laughs> and I give him props Did he tweet for saying that. that. Or he said that. Okay. He said that and I give him props because it's bloody complicated. I've been in the game for my whole life and as an advisor from hospitals all the way through to new new the new new shiny things. Um, the it's hard to solve because and these things would have gotten solved if it was easy by now. Um, you have all these stakeholders who each have a pot of incentives that are quite different from the other. You have pharma, you have health plans, you have physicians, hospitals, and then all these new entrants. And then the patient who's paying more and more out of pocket. What's hard for say Google version one, Google Health, these guys, mostly guys, did not connect really with their grandmothers or sick friends or parents of sick friends to innovate what that little PHR might have looked like for real people who were really sick. Google version two now, you talked about diabetic retinopathy, we have Alphabet and Verily, and now Verily's going to work with Sleep Score on sleep apnea, which is just great. They just did that uh, working with ResMed, um, which is really exciting, one of the leaders in sleep apnea. So the point here is that when you are a disruptor, you better be solving a, pro a real problem. You don't lead with the technology first. You say, what am I going to solve and then how do I skin the cat? So I think that's really where I would advise anyone who wants to quote disrupt, because doctors, we learned through the EHR implementations, Gita, you're a doctor, you know, that, that has led to burnout and depression no in physician practice, which you know, you're a practicing doc. Which is decreased access to Which patients. again, everybody loses, the quadruple aim falls flat. That's why we flat. need the robots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so what about, you know, I, I see where you're going with, you know, the, the issues with Google, um, the guys and gals that were designing these things didn't have that same type of connection. Don't you think they're, they're just, I think they're very smart when Google Health recruits Rob Califf, former health uh, you know, sure. commissioner of the and FDA, that's what they learned. to come provide that yeah. physician side? Correct. But you know what? We also have to remember, again, it's about the non-healthcare companies bringing all of their ammunition from their industry into healthcare, but you've got to bring the healthcare experts, right? And it's so funny, whenever we talk about patient engagement, we never have a patient at the table. We built the exactly. entire EMR industry without asking one doctor before they started building. How and that's our work. fault as physicians because we sat on the sidelines and said, this is never gonna happen. It happened and it cut us off at the knees. And so I think it's a call to action with this disruption and this innovation that all stakeholders have to be at the table. Physicians, industry, economists, tech experts, we, everybody's gotta be there. We have to extend the invitation and we have to accept the invitation, the well, postcard, if you will. Yeah, um, Innovators do two things that really make me crazy. One is they believe this notion, build it and they will come. Mm -hmm. That if, if I create this app for people with as, uh, asthma, yeah, we'll do asthma. Somehow they will come and they end up doing something which is even worse, they wink in the dark because they just don't know how to communicate or build in an eclectic environment. The other thing about disruption, I think disruption is fundamental, but it's extraordinarily problematic. Imagine you had a company of 100 people and everyone was a disruptor. Nothing would get done. <laughs> you need an implementer. So again, th that disruption is a punctuated phenomenon that corresponds with changes in the marketplace. Innovation is not constant. Innovation is occasional. And that change drives innovation. So I think it's tricky. So this whole notion of, of I'm a disruptor and I want more disruptors is a formula for disaster.